Hello, Ben here. So no new project video today, but what we are going to do is sort of recap 2017 so far. I'm going to show you some of the things that didn't make it into project videos, and I'm going to give you a little preview of what to expect in the second half of the year. 2017 has been pretty epic so far. I got a new tattoo, I've worked with new sponsors, done a lot of traveling and road trips, gave a lecture at the Autodesk Build Space. So here are some of the highlights, and I hope you stay with us through the second half of the year. I've been a fan of Vice Media for a really long time, and Viceland is one of the few channels that I watch. So when they asked if they could take a tour of my house, I was super excited. This first cut of the show was done for Chinese audiences, and you can see a link to the entire thing in the description box below. I also edited out just the part that I was in, and you can find that on my second YouTube channel. One of the areas that Vice really didn't cover was my bathroom. So I did a recent video tour of that on this channel and a 360 video tour on my second channel. Earlier this year, Autodesk asked me to be the keynote speaker at their first ever design night here in Boston. It was an amazing event. They packed a sold out crowd around all the giant robots and I was able to share pretty much my entire professional history. If you ever get a chance to attend one of these events, make sure you do. It's a great way to meet a bunch of other designers. They have snacks, drinks, and a ton of arts and crafts stuff to do as well. A video of the entire lecture is available on my second YouTube channel. So this year we brought on Acura as a sponsor, and whenever we bring on a new sponsor, we try to make sure that they actually add something new to the content we produce. So in addition to sponsoring some videos, they also got us a drone. This Phantom 4 Pro has been a lot of fun. The video footage is amazingly clear, and it's given us a whole new way to shoot. So rather than flying down to Atlanta for a conference that I had to go to for Home Depot, I actually drove the Acura MDX. And along the way, I used the drone from the car to scout out properties that I was interested in. Now I've always been a fan of road trips, in fact when I was in college I did a three month road trip with a whole bunch of friends where we literally went to every state except for Alaska and Hawaii. But for this road trip I was able to enjoy a little more luxury and a whole lot more technology. The ability to check out new and emerging pieces of architecture from the air is just incredible. It's also a practical and efficient way to survey a piece of property that you're interested in buying. On my way back from Atlanta, I stopped by in South Carolina and visited this old brick building that Jesse and I had visited and explored before. This time though, I was able to explore that elevator shaft from the top down. As a kid sitting in the back seat while my parents drove, I'd always look around and always wish that we would stop the car so we could get out and explore. Yes, the national parks and historic monuments are worth seeing, but I'm actually more interested often in the in-between spaces. I'm always fascinated to see how industrial processes take over natural ones and then how eventually the natural ones retake them over. I've been planning this tattoo for over two years and the goal was always to transform my arm into a ruler. I stopped off in New York City at West 4th Tattoo, and Evan Kim took on the considerable challenge of turning non-precise flesh and muscle into a measuring device. This was my first tattoo, and it was really interesting to see how Evan worked. In many ways, it was analogous to woodworking or furniture making, where the setup and the preparation of the cuts often takes longer than doing the cuts itself. In this case, he actually spent about an hour and a half just laying out the, the templates for the lines that he would later tattoo into my skin. He started with the lines themselves, and this really didn't hurt that bad at all. Once he got to the point where he was infilling the large amounts of ink, that's where it got a little bit uncomfortable, especially around the places where the skin is close to bone. All in all, it was a pretty enjoyable experience, and the whole tattooing process took about six hours. I'm really happy with the results, although it did swell up quite a bit and it's still curing now, but I'll post some pictures of it on Instagram when it's all the way healed. So even though the Acura is really awesome, I was getting a little worn out from driving, so I enlisted the help of my friend Nick, who just happens to be a pilot. I needed to get to upstate New York to interview Jimmy DiResta for my podcast. That's right, I have a podcast, more about that later. Nick and his team filmed the whole experience for their YouTube channel, Take Off With Nick, which you should definitely check out. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. It's always awesome to see Jimmy DiResta. He is one of the few YouTubers that continually inspires me. 
I had visited his New York workshop before, but this is my first time seeing him in his new sort of rural existence. Not only did he give us a tour of his property and workshop, he also showed us his collection of old machinery. He basically has like a museum up there. Now, I'm sure most of you already know who Jimmy DeResta is, but for the few of you that don't, he's amazing. Stop what you're doing right now and go check out his YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it below. On the way back, we flew over one of my first architecture projects and we got to see this 7,000 square foot, completely solar powered house from the air. Shout out to Nick for such an awesome trip and be sure to check out his channel. So remember when I said I had a podcast? Well, earlier this year I launched a podcast along with co-hosts Mike Montgomery from Modern Builds and Chris Salamone from Four Eyes Woodworking. In addition to talking about design and making, we're also hosting different design challenges. Our first one, the two 2x4 challenge, has been a huge success and I'm completely overwhelmed by the number of awesome projects that our listeners have submitted. Lastly, I just want to tease a design exhibition that I'm working on called Design Cloud. It's going to be a combination of design and installation art, and it'll be showing at some galleries here in Boston late summer, early fall. This project is totally different from everything else I've done, and I'll give some hints about what I'm doing on my Instagram stories. One of the other things that I'm working on the second half of 2017 is trying to find a new and bigger workshop. Not only will a larger space let me take my projects to the next level, it'll let me invite you guys, the viewers, into it and actually teach hands-on workshops as well. I have a few promising leads, but nothing solid yet, and I'm still looking around. So if you know of any cool properties, and they can be really anywhere in the U.S., send them my way. I'm looking for a big building with character, something over 5,000 square feet that's under $500,000. Hit me up on Twitter if you have a suggestion. So what's next? The focus of this channel will always be on sharing design ideas for affordable modern home goods and furniture. But I want to keep taking on bigger and bigger projects and eventually I'd like to get to the scale where I can actually show how to build your own house affordably. So as the channel grows, you will see some changes. You'll see me working with new sponsors. I'm very fortunate to have worked with Acura for these series of projects. You'll see me experimenting with new technology like drones or 360 cameras. But don't worry, I'm still a designer at heart and my main mission is always going to be sharing affordable and accessible design ideas. I also want to thank all of you subscribers and viewers. I'm really blown away by what this thing has become and I'm so looking forward to seeing where we go next. We won't be doing a lot of these update videos. At the most, we'll probably do two a year. So thanks for watching and be sure to check out some of the other videos that you may have missed. I even just made this really cool little sliding wood pop for it.